It's now time to dish in the Win Dixie kitchen, and they say breakfast is the most important meal of the day. So what we did, we outsourced to a professional. Curtis Stone is here to show us an awesome recipe. Welcome back, buddy. How are you, Mark? It's always good to see you back here. Good to hang out, but let's just say the food is also a second best. <laughs> All right. I know why you like me here, don't <laughs> I? Um, so today I thought I'd show you a French toast recipe that is so delicious. And with my favorite um, fruit, strawberries, which is so good this time of year. It's right at the peak of the, uh, the Florida strawberry season. So whenever it's in season, I like to celebrate it because the more people cook them with the right fruit at the right time of year, the better it is. So. Yeah, no, I agree. So it's at its peak of perfection right now. Yep. And Win dixie they have Berry Fest going on, so there's right. great deals on berries. The deals are unbelievable. You'll get, you'll be amazed. So what we're going to do is we're going to cook the berries. So first thing I'm going to do is take some maple syrup, and we're going to warm that up. So I'm just going to pop it into a pan over a really low heat, and then we're going to make a custard to soak the French toast in. So I've got two, four, six eggs in there. You want a little bit of cream and just a little milk about equal quantities, you toss that in, and it's that simple. You then whisk these eggs up, and this is going to be the custard that the uh, the French toast basically soaks in. So you give it a good old whisk, and once, you, once all those yolks are mixed, then what you do, get off there, <laughs> then what you do is you take your, um, your uh, brioche, and you pop that in for about three or four minutes, and let it soak up some of that custard. So I cheated, and this one I put in about three or four minutes ago, and you'll see um, when we cook it, when we actually cook it and then cut it, what'll happen is um, it'll be beautifully um, uh, velvety all the way through. I like that, the velvety the all the way through. Oh, it's so good, it's so, so good. So we flip that over and we give it just another second here for that um, custard to continue to soak. And then we come over here and get ready. So what I do is get some sugar. We're gonna make a cinnamon sugar. So sugar and cinnamon. And Mark, if you wanna give that a stir for yeah. me and just sort of mix it up, I'll just get organized over here. And Curtis, this is also one of the feed your families for under ten dollar recipes, That's right. correct? Yeah, so you can feed a family of four for under ten bucks. And this is one of those dishes that yes, it's a breakfast item usually, but with some bacon or even a piece of fried chicken, it could quite simply become a really fantastic dinner as well. And if you have kids, there's no such thing as just breakfast. Right. Belly breakfast for dinner as well. Absolutely. So you gotta well, be my, my boys that. sure will. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just hulling the strawberries and gonna cut those guys in half like that, okay? And then what we do next is come over here. I've got a pan that I've preheated and just with a little butter, okay? We just turn that up ever so slightly. And then what you do is using your spatula, pick this up because the bread's quite soft now, okay? So I'm gonna pick that up and just pop it into the pan like so. And what type of bread was this again? It's a brioche. You Which is nice, it's more porous, well. and you could just see everything soak through it, and I would imagine that's gonna help out with the flavor at the oh, end. Oh, it sure will. It's so, it's such a fabulous way to do French toast because it becomes really dense and, um, and decadent. Oh, see, so usually so, what I do is I take it out of the box and put it in the microwave, boom. French toast in 30 seconds. And it's done. I like your approach to it, too. You know, it's, it, this is so easy. There's really no need to do a shortcut. You can see it. Cream, milk, eggs. You mix it together. The, the um, brioche goes in. And I tell you what, the results, just wait. I, this, this is, there's no microwave French toast that can taste anything like this. I promise you that. You're right. And while we're talking about this, we'll move over down here to Flavor Magazine. Oh, yeah. So this recipe is going to be in there. Also, more recipes on berries, tips, and savings. Such a great resource. So as you're walking out and check out, all you have to do is just pick up Flavor Magazine. And again, all this information, you could go to winndixie.com and right. get that. Or for any of these great ingredients, go to your neighborhood Local Go to your local store Dixie. You Absolutely. So the hot maple syrup goes straight over the strawberries like this. So see oh, that, that looks good. You just coat those berries, okay, and that's going to release some of that natural flavor yeah. of the strawberries. And then have a look at the French toast. Oh wow! Right. So look you at see, that. it's beautiful and eggy. You're just getting a little bit of caramelization there. Right. The and other thing that you do, you can finish it off with a little orange zest, or you can even put that into the sugar as well. Like that. Smell the, uh, the, yeah. the orange oil. The total aroma just unlocks on it. Beautiful. So just Love mix it. that in. It's worth it. And you know, it's kind of cool. Overall, this has taken us, what, four and a half minutes to make right. a great breakfast. Or if you choose to have this for brunch, dinner, 
whatever. And then this recipe we're going to have on our website, RiverCityLiveTV.com. All you have to do is just click on recipes. But uh, this is one that we're definitely going to do in my house because it's easy to do. And I like how you use cream. Some people use milk because that's all that they have. Right. And I think the cream is really going to add just another layer. It really does. It makes it really rich and velvety. You can see just that little bit of caramelization there. You'd normally just yeah. look, wait for a bit longer, but I'm going to show you what we do next. Bring it over here. Toss it through that cinnamon sugar onto your plate. And like I said, if you wanted to finish it with some, some fresh cream or some ice cream, you could too. But these strawberries here are what make it just so unbelievable. So the, the berries, as you can see, they're reducing some of their, releasing some of their liquids and put that with the maple syrup. And that, my friend, I like friend, this. You're cooking, serving up, and I go to the utensils right away. For it. Wow, this looks awesome. Oh, the texture on this too, just the way you could cut it. Isn't it great? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is absolutely amazing. Uh, thanks, wow. buddy. I definitely want to try this. And again, the recipe is on our website, RiverCityLiveTV.com. Curtis, thanks again. Nice I'm going to keep on eating. All right. <laughs>